hello everyone welcome back to jb graphics youtube channel i always give you the best yeah okay please if you have not subscribed to my channel click on the subscribe button to subscribe you leave your comments in the comment section below you like and then please you share my videos to other people too as well so that they can also benefit there are a lot of you no know, tutorials coming your way there are already made tutorials too you can check uh, and then you watch and learn yes that is what JB graphics is here for you okay please so before we start with today's tutorial i want to tell you that there are links to some of the design materials in the description link below the pixel lab that i'm using the premium pixel lab you can see it over here is i have said the link to download it in one of the tutorials that is the introduction to pixel lab part 2 you can check in the description and then download the premium pixel lab i'm using okay my whatsapp group youtube fans to link is over there you can join my whatsapp number if in case you're facing any problem you can take it and then uh, whatsapp me then we go okay so in today's tutorial we're going to design or we're going to learn how we use the kept paper shadow the kept paper shadow okay so we start so you know if you are not familiar with the tools please watch the pixel lab, introduction to pixel lab part one and introduction to pixel lab part two so that you'll be familiar with the tools in pixel lab if you are new okay so your background color i choose white no then i choose let's say a shape i give it a color uh, i give it yellow color okay this is cool by me I enlarge it little like this okay i position it in the middle then i put on my text so the text is kept paper shadow okay i think it's so, so let me edit it i click on the edit so kept paper shadow oh, okay so i enlarge it then you go to your font and choose a nice font for it so i will choose let me see no Coco. okay so I give it a color so any design at all you can you know do it uh, then I come to alignment I put it in the middle help the pastor do like this you see it's cool it's cool by me so I position it in the middle now you see so you can check in the description below i'll leave the link to download the shadow the paper shadow over there so you go to your plus icon you add from your gallery i'm going to add from my gallery i click on images i go to let me see mm, shadows okay then i click on my paper shadow so this is the paper shadow okay so i position it here and then using the relative position in the middle i position it here i move it right there okay and it's good and i just small I position it again 
now you know so you can see that the shadow is in front now your shadow must be at the back so you see we have to back here click to back you see it's now at the back now you can see that the design that we have made that is the yellow shape and then the right and it's as if it's standing on the white yes that is the use of the curved paper shadow so this is how we use it you know if let's say you are a bit confused let's say you are done with your flyer design and you want to give it a, a shadow to a curved paper shadow to yeah it's possible so let me hide everything let's say I choose a white background. I go to my gallery here from gallery. Then I go to uh, let me see Pixola. There are a lot of works here. So let me use let's say the Mother's Day. No. Let me see, let me see, let me see. So I'm going to pick my flyer and then I will use that one. Okay, this is my flyer. So I choose it. Now you see this is the flyer. Okay, so I position it in the middle. I push it up small. Then I open my shadow. You can see the shadow at the back there. Okay, so you can see the shadow I bring to front. Then you can manipulate the size, okay? Okay, so it's okay for me. I send it up small like this. Then I, you should move it to the back always, okay? So to back. You see, so you can see from the down here, eh? That the flyer is now hot, standing, or it's as if it's at the, it's on the white background. So this is how we use the curved paper shadow. Okay. So see you next. See you in my next tutorial, okay? Just subscribe to my YouTube channel and then we will go far. Thank you and God bless you for watching. Bye-bye.